three minute wait because I was I was looking up something like semi important, maybe just 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 a bit bit important to me. I was just looking up something. Mm. No worries, no worries. I'm, I'm sure people are gonna double check my search history and everything. Anyways, but um, well, I mean, a single, singular person, possibly, maybe. Who knows? Maybe some other people might be interested too. What the hell's wrong with you? Anyways. <laughs> Stay a while and listen. They're, they're not saying anything. Moving on. Alright, let's get the little mouse out of the... Oh, yes. So, uh, I did play, but... Uh, no... just found the drip stuff <laughs> and I had a brown out because my uh, my computer <laughs> so I'm going to be downloading two videos tonight because yesterday I was streaming and then I had a brown out and I'm like yeah, it's already nine something it's not even worth like starting it again so I just um so yeah I can maybe upload my last lot of stage. Would I be downloading or uploading? Time it's saved, right? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know how to do this. Honestly, I'm. So. Um, I'm that is for today. And the last time that was December. Mobs of all. Oh, okay, alright. So, this. I think this is the file. Okay, okay. We might be able to get back into this. Hold on a second. So, if I. This is the well dam. So, if I. Up. We're gonna download all. We'll close the following. So, because it corrupted the data. And we're going to try to, because that's that's when the uh, the damage happened, the um, the brownout. So we will go back. It's not going to go back like five days or whatever. It's going to go back to the last save that I had before, and I'm pretty sure I know how to to get that dripstone again. That's yeah, because it was already an uploaded uh, area. It's it's really close. To, okay, we're just, we're just gonna. Five hours, I was like, well, here we go. Let's hunker down, get snagged. It's gonna be all okay. Sorry, anyways. So. <sighs> Let's play another 
another beam. I'm already bored. I am I'm very, very much not in the patience. No, I don't want to cancel. So I have to sit here and wait? Walk it down to like two minutes. Maybe like um, three minutes. Whoa. So let me just put that to the side. So today someone bought me a pen. Where did it go? I got it. Okay. They bought me a purple pen. Look at that. And it writes purple. Forty-seven, and that's the wrong direction. That is super the wrong direction. Alrighty, so since I don't feel like listening to this right now, I'm gonna put my shoulder. Go ahead, sort of listen to this, and um, so today at work, um, had a bunch of customers. There was one that was uh, really testy, like this was on the phone. So I was told to, to answer this um, phone call for print copy and the lady at first seemed nice and then got testy just like that. She explained what organization she was, she was a nurse and she was calling because they had some sort of review coming and she was trying to use the system that was um, a part of where I work, and she was having trouble blowing this thing up, and she was wondering if she emailed the files to uh, the print and copy se uh, uh, you know, section, if they'd be able to blow them up, and I said, I think they might be able to, and she's like, all of a sudden it was like lightning fast, she's like, well, I need to talk to someone and print and copy. And I was like, I'm sorry. I was like, I was told to take the call and take a message, a, a name, a, a message, and a number, and they would call you back. And, and she's like, well, she's like, can't you transfer me over? And I was like, I was told to take the, the phone call so that I could take a name, get a number, and have a brief description of what you need so that when they call you back after, and she's like, where is everyone in print and copy? And I was like, I said, I am sorry, but they, I was like, uh, people for print and copy don't come in until 10 o'clock, but I was you know, retold that they had, uh, that they weren't coming in until 11 after the phone call. And I was like, the person who is, um, covering print and copy is at over an easy tech with a customer and then they have another customer after that i was like so i was told to take a message uh, get a name and a number and she's like okay fine and she she hurry up and like she, she her name was uh lindsay last name not gonna say and she gave me her number really quick and you know hung up i was like okay so i warned the person who had to deal with her and call her back that she was a bit testy and uh you know just going into it she she was testy. she wasn't happy that uh i answered the phone call and and, and he was like what what does she expect i was and i was like Someone from print and copy. And he said, did you explain to her that you were just taking a message? And I said, yes. I was like, she, she kind of didn't let me talk to begin with. But after she was done with her, what, what she needed, 
and found out I wasn't a part of the print and copy section, she got a little angry. But yeah, that was that was a uh, part of my day. But I didn't let it get me down. No. <laughs> I thought of my cookies in the fridge, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna have one of those. But uh, <laughs> and at my day, she got way better. Anyways, so this this is taking a really long time. Yeah, and I well, there were a few uh, songs that played on the um, the, the radio on you know, on the cell phone that were kind of interesting. Um, some of them are just really questionable, and they're like. And anyone just looks like, what is this and why is it playing? There was a song that was just going, ah, yeah, ah, 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 ah. I was like, what the flip is this? I mean, there, there was no real rhyme or reason to it, and people were like, oh, I hate this song. And I was like, this is a song? I thought someone was having like some sort of conniption and the person laughed and like I mean there was a, a person like a customer and he you know he laughed he was like possibly in his like 80s maybe 70s who knows could have been in his 90s but dude that was um yeah that happened like last month some of that music they play is crazy just flipping crazy and then i hear like some bands that um they're oldies but goodies you know some like alternative and some rock and um yeah it's uh some interesting ones um oh yeah that's why i was mentioning music so one of the, the managers had got my attention from across the uh, the store, and then started going like this to one of the songs, and I was like, and uh, and then they they were like, and I was like, so it was it was something to like boost their morale and everything, and uh, so I also waved to the other manager whenever she's just like you know having like a bad day having to deal with some disgruntled uh, customers and everything. I'm just like, yeah, you're doing great kind of thing. And then, yeah, so I'm hoping it cheers her up a little. But yeah, so. I got a pencil. Believe it or not, I do like pens. I don't know how many pens I actually go through. It's not because I do anything lethal with them. I sit here and I take notes on stuff that I don't need to take notes on. Okay. Be prepared. I'm gonna show you some show and tell. So, I was going through my notes. Okay. So, I was going through my notes. And... Got all of this. Okay, so and I color code my stuff. This is um, information on Python. Stuff that I need to know. Stuff that I don't want to forget because it's interesting and um, like list, list functions, tuples, functions. nice little work and uh, activities like building a basic computer and building like a get, getting input from user kind of game thing mad lib games uh, if statements like reference to you know that return statements and while loops building a game guessing game 
uh, making dictionaries, you know, like the quick dictionaries, like, um, you know, giving kind of like a, a function to, or like a, I think it's called, I can't remember. Anyways, like, Jan would be, would equal uh, January, February, blah, blah. You can also make it, uh, January would be like zero one or something like that. Do it by the, um, month, month, day, day, year, year, year. Okay. I'm done. There's like a lot of refreshers I need to get back to because like, you know, I just kind of have this for a few months and... Get back into building my game. I wrote down some interesting game ideas I have. I also uh, have some stuff on Blender. Stuff that I am. Stuff that I was. Looking into making and everything. Yeah, but someone's gonna copy open strike me for the music of my background. It's, it's not what they think. I'm not stealing anything. This is the damn background dynamic song that's working. Anyways, I was re-downloading things. So that I could start my projects again. Oh. Yep, I just hit the keyboard with it. Yeah, this was my visual. Um, no, you can't see my visuals. Oh, yeah, and I made like a little architecture thing. That one was not mine. This one was mine. So it's pretty, just a basic layout on how I kind of wanted a house to to function and everything. Just super basic, just super basic. And um, like I wanted all the water things to be kind of toward the center so that it's not too many pipes and everything so all the drainage would go into like one huge pipe and then be pushed into um, this was supposed to be for what was it, um, a homestead so like into a kind of like bathroom water would be pushed into like I mean like shower wise shower and water would be pushed into um, what is it called? Um, laundry water. Toilet water would be go directly towards like a greenhouse station and um, like like brown water would you know kinda into um, this little outside area where there's you know, like cake plants and like, you know, bulrush and other types of long grass, aquatic like style, you know, the kind of stuff that likes to feed off of certain things. But that was how the uh, sewage system was gonna be. like aquaponics kind of thing or like some food was going to be grown um, with some fish that were going to be like farmed and kind of farmed you know 
they were gonna have a nice life. It wasn't gonna be overstock. It's gonna be like, you know, comfortable for them. And then once they got, you know, too big for the container, you'd have to make room for the smaller kind of thing. They, they've become food. I, I do apologize, but hey. So, there were high hopes, there were ideas. I don't know, I'm still pushing towards my childhood uh, idea of, you know, going out into the woods, building a log cabin, and having a cat and a dog, and be my two forms of company, and the wildlife that tries to eat my, um, my garden next to my stuff. Like, I don't want it too close to the house because I don't want bears, but yet I, yeah, I was gonna, like, you know, have, like, a log cabin. It was actually my, uh, half-sister's taunt about how I was going to be this crazy old lady in, who lives in the woods, and I was gonna have, like, 50 cats, and I was like, who knows? Like, dude, I was like, some cats are far better than some people. So I'd rather be surrounded by 50 cats than, like, a few mean people. I mean, you know. But, um, yeah. I just think it's too much time to talk. I don't know if I'm supposed to entertain you. I can't get out of this. You know what I could get out of? Yeah, that would actually slow down me. Cause I was like, I could just upload the video that hopefully that didn't save. Yes, it did save. 22 minutes and 49... Oh, sorry. No. 49 seconds, I think so. Yep. So, at least I'll be able to post that. And it won't be so dramatically boring. But... I could edit it right now. Because I couldn't edit it yesterday because my internet went out and I didn't get it back for a while. So I just ended up going to, um... Oh damn, it won't let me edit it. That, that is unfortunate. Okay. Well, I guess I'll have to do that later. I guess because I'm streaming? Maybe? Yeah. Oh damn. Yeah, this is real fun. If you're wondering what the rest of that is, it's waterproofing. I was waterproofing my notebook so they didn't get all okay. Uh, 
I took lots and lots of notes and then I cover code some stuff so that I know what exactly it is and why I color coded it. And then I put these like what are these things? Little stars, ab abstract things, ab abstract. I can't remember what the hell those things are called. I call them little stars or snowflakes. I put those in really important things. So and I number pages, so it's always interesting. Oh, dude, I'm telling you what, if you don't know how I make my notes, you will get lost. Oh, and I put little supportive things in it too. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, so let me see if I can find one. What, uh, when I stopped the video so I didn't get lost, too. This one was 2 hours, 27 minutes, and 59 seconds. We used statistical hypothesis testing uh, many of them to adjust parameters. But yeah, I was learning basics of all the different ways to do certain things, what people can use. And what parts that I'm going to need to learn. And probably further in here. Oh yeah, there's some statistics too. So here with this chart. So, uh, this, I had nice little follow throughs, like follow the blue line, so that is that, and then we follow the purple line, like okay, so that's linear, uh, or log, logarithmic, <laughs> if I can read, is the blue, and follow the black line for the quadratic, up that way, and then the yellow line would be ex exponential. Exponential. I might not be able to say it, but it's there. <laughs> and then factorial, follow the orange line, and one goes a little bit up to 50. And they have these nice little, um, it's like the elements of n. Constant. So. You just rip it and eat it like some mad person. <laughs> Took a bunch of notes. And then she started eating them right there. Just not that hungry. Learned about modes and means and some interesting categories. Oh. Yeah, and I put little reference points of like, you know, uh, see the triangle in the chart. This would be the N, well, negative M equals. Um, or, no, that's just a little marker. Okay, so, M equals 3.5, and it's like, see the triangle in the, in the chart, and it's like, 3.5, right there, in the very center of the scene before, so. Well, I'm, I guess, in a way, I'm focusing on my, Note taking and my graphing. Look at my graphing. 
created. So that's a uniform graph. That is a bimodal graph, and then this is a new shape. Is it because like the shapes matter and how you're wanting to represent? This is symmetrical, so and that's a skewed. It's just kind of different, I guess. I never really understood that one. So, I know that it's the same on both sides. I put a little uh, note, but... Okay, so unimodal is uniform or U. Symmetrical or skewed. Symmetrical, this is skewed. And that one's symmetrical. And then outliers. Outliners are, I think, these ones. Other than the uniformed, because I don't think that's an outlier. Not very often that you have uniform data, you know. I don't know why they went through so many um, different types of ways to make graphs in a, uh, in the, what is that called? Um, schematics of what? statistics sorry took me a minute but yeah, I was reading uh, this off of statistics and I was making my own little um, little notes on his notes. The person that uh, wrote that statistic box had this thing for baseball. Don't ask me why I remember that. But they did a work called Baseball References, and I'm like, okay, you're, you're, a, you're a sportsy guy, got it. And I'm like, are there fun who are going to be teaching right now? It's going to even understand playing any of that. But um, it, was, it was something interesting, you know? Just like uh, with this uh, Google instructor who mentioned that he likes strawberry. Uh, milkshakes, and I was like, we could go completely off topic, but that is fascinating. Go on, what what else do you like to eat? I mean, I guess it's a nice little reprieve in the uh, the thing. I was like, I was like, you can have your strawberry milkshakes. I was like, I do not like strawberry ice cream because it always takes tastes fake to me. Unless there's real strawberries in it. But even some of those, like, strawberry, um, if it's made with actual strawberries, then yeah, some of, some of it can be really, really good. But, like, the Neapolitan, um, uh, Neapolitan ice cream, they, they use the worst of all three. The worst vanilla, the worst chocolate, and the worst strawberry. And they're like, eh, nobody's gonna notice. And then everybody's just sitting there blaming the other uh, side of the ice cream. Oh, they leech through. That's so awful. Oh, my vanilla. It tastes like chocolate and strawberry. Blah, blah, blah. And never taste right. Because they put vanilla in the middle. The ones that I've... Sorry. The ones that I've had. They always put the vanilla in the, the... I was like, why did they do that? I was like, put vanilla on the side. Let's just, just put it on the side. But they, like, I always had somebody putting a little more strawberry in my vanilla than I actually wanted. It's like, stay on the vanilla. I was like, I will get it myself. Like, for being five, six year old, I'm like, dude, I got this. Give me a spoon. Perfect. <laughs> so, 
like, we, we didn't know anything about that, like, um, what is that, uh, not 30 seconds. Do not put your ice cream in there in a microwave for 30 seconds. It will not be good. It's like, uh, 10 seconds to 15 seconds, and it makes it pliable enough that you can put, uh, an ice cream scoop through it, or you can do the nice little... Uh, have a hot, have some hot water next to, well, in a cup, and dunk the, the scoop in between scoops, uh, between scooping of it. So yeah, we're just gonna be right out of the pool. You will encounter critics who can be harsh, grumpy, and intimidating. Critics can be wrong. Yeah, a little smiley face. Yeah. A little smiley face. That'll encourage me. Okay, so pay attention. Okay, I'm I'm fully attentive right now. <laughs> know your goal. Match methods to your goal. Focus on usability. Don't get confused with prob probabilities. So it's like be a dreamer, but not to the point where your head's out of place or whatever. Have your dreams, draw an outline towards them, make little goals, try to uh, achieve those little goals, and by the end of the little goals, you end up getting to your, what you're dreaming of in some circumstances. Because if you're dreaming of, let's see, I'm trying to think of something so outlandish that it would be damn near impossible. Hold on. Okay, so, uh, a cucumber, melon, bungee cord, like all, like a bungee cord smelling like cucumber or melon no matter what it goes through. Like you could piss on this thing and it's, don't, don't ask me that, I'm just thinking of something that's impossible. Okay, because bungee cords will smell like something weird. And if somebody, you know, made a bungee cord that was cucumber melon smelled, I, I don't know. They, they might, sorry, they might uh, sell a lot of it. I'm not trying to show you stuff. Anyway, they, they might sell a bunch of it, but it's never going to smell. Why the hell did it steal some of my flipping? Ooh. Anyways, so. It's never ever going to smell forever like the thing that it was first scented to smell like because it will accumulate different things, it will accumulate dirt, it will be in different environments. Those environments could be beneficial or uh, destructive towards that bungee cord. It's going to be left out in the sun in some occasions and that will warp the bungee cord and or the what is it? The, 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 the netting that they wrap around it? What the hell is it? It's like thread? Some, some, some sort of more elastic thing. But anyways, so that would be improbable. Having something, designing something to smell like something forever because all of the out we're, we're just talking about some individual thing. Okay, I'm pretty sure somebody could make a cloud that tastes like marshmallows one day. That is viable. Having a flipping bungee cord, of course it's viable. Okay, so if you can chemically reproduce fog within a, an aquarium for all kinds of different purposes, um, People do this in little terrariums. Ter 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 How do you say that? Terrariums. Ter it's like a little aquarium, and they seal it off, and it will have its own ecosystem where it will even rain and fog and, and stuff like that. But you, with the right situations, you'd be able to make like a little cloud in in an enclosed area. And you could make that cloud taste what like whatever you wanted, just flavor the damn water first. So that is totally plausible. 
Now, the time in which you'd be able to try to taste that cloud by trying to open that atmosphere, sorry, the, um, the enclosure or something for that um, experiment and actually trying to taste that, you know, hey, could be a little sketchy. Maybe you could put like a straw in there and like, you know, try it like that. But the bungee cord with, you know, forever smell, it ain't gonna happen. There'd have to be some way that you'd have to replace the smell. Because what if somebody's dog falls asleep on it? What if somebody's wet dog falls asleep on it? Can you really guarantee it's gonna smell like the smell that you wanted it to smell like? I know I don't like cucumber melon, it's just some sort of smell. I like marshmallows, vanilla, mint, coconut vanilla, I just love it. So, chocolate's a good smell. Everything signifies, everything has meaning, but the meaning might not be what you expect. Um, so you'll make mistakes, everyone does. This is how we learn as well as from other mistakes also. Like we learn from others' mistakes also. But nothing is completely wasted if you pay close attention and you utilize what you did learn from those mistakes and or happy accidents. <coughs> Bob Ross, and so, um, yeah, he, I, I don't think that he was the main one that coined the term, but he made it possible, like, well, sorry, I'm really not trying to show you that, so he made it to the point where it was pop popular, not possible, but, um, so, all data has value. Um, so this is also some stuff. Uh, no analyst is perfect. Can you add value? Data is uh, the dem, dem, democratic, I guess, whatever. So I mean, these are, these are all pretty, uh, thing. So it's like, you know, you're gonna mess up a bunch, whether in life or with whatever you're trying to do. As long as you don't, like, stop what you're doing or brainwash somebody into believing something else, I mean, there's no problem. There's no problem. So. <clears throat> so. So, anyways, uh, don't dwell on the problems. Oopsies, I just bought my plastic. So, and, like, don't dwell on problems you can't fix. Like, if you can't fix something right away, and, I mean, like, if it's between a person and whatnot, you apologize. If you love that person even a smidgen, you respect them even a flicker of respect, apologize. You did something wrong, apologize. But whatever. Do you? Um but anyways, uh, you do learn from mistakes and Oh, I put another smiley face. That's so cool. So. <laughs> I like seeing my little notes on things, too. Because I will go into certain things. I like the specific nature of stuck snack. Stuck. Stuck snack. Combined with a jaw dropping complex attack code has led to stuck stuck snacks. Uh, 
ba, 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 ba. I've never used Stux Snacks. Mm. Apparently it's some sort of security thing. You're going through my notes and you're having to listen. Ooh, dreaded. Yeah, there'll be no gaming because the download continues. I bet people are just gonna watch like three minutes of this. Okay. Don't watch anymore. Why do you do? Don't force yourself to watch something you don't want to watch. Nobody's forcing you to do anything. It's not like you're gonna find an ancient wisdom here. No. Yeah. Notes on functions of malware, seven common functions of malware, overwhelming system resources, creating backdoors, disabling security functions, creating botnets, uh, running malice hardware, running spyware, running ransomware, overwhelming system resources, worms are one of these. The malware uses uh, so much of the computer, the CPU, and memory that it ends up crashing. So that's like overwhelming the system. Oh, man, because the. Sorry. <laughs> so the running ma malicious adware is unwanted advertisements. I'm sure you've seen those. I'm sure you've seen tons of those. And they're annoying too, not just. Anyways, not just unwanted, but it's super annoying. Yes, I know what unwanted means, but I it, you gotta emphasize the super annoying part because they're always trying to sell you something that you never need, you didn't want, and you completely, utterly hate. So, dude. I don't want to be shown the same flipping commercial 50 million times when there's no need for me to buy this pink brush that I would never use. But yet it would keep coming up and up and up and I'm like, what, you, are you trying to get me to cave? I was like, I'm not going to cave for this stupid pink brush. It was one of those um, full on round circles. I was like, I have curly hair. dude. You try putting that through some curly hair, you're gonna get your flipping hair stuck. I mean, super stuck. You have to cut your hair off of that damn thing. I was like, is this is this brush designed to make people cut their hair? But anyways, they kept trying to, oh, it's it's the best for this and that. Oh, look, high schoolers, you know, high schoolers like this and. Oh, you know, this is good on the go, and but I was like, no, this is good for like killing people's hair. And then they kept showing it over and over and over. I was like, there's no way in hell I'm going to flip and buy this damn thing. I was like, it's pink too. I was like, thanks for not doing me at all. I was like, I'm stopped. You try shoving some sort of colored brush that would hurt me in the long run at me like several times. It's like a cigarette commercial. Something that's designed to hurt you but yet they're still shoving it at you in your face. Alcohol commercials too. Soap commercials with uh, the ones that have those chemicals to make uh, men less fertile and whiny crybabies. I'm sorry. Um, they, they turn into guys, the men that wear those and use those and I, I think they call them soy boys. 
so also running malicious adware sometimes in the form of pop-ups or unclosable windows that make your system crash i hate those i fucking hate those or like they put the little x there but that's not actually the x that's just something that gets you to pop into the window i played this game okay i i have this problem with um certain games that like you can sort things with and you know i i just drone out and i just sit there and match things with other things and it'll end up um what is that called um popping up ads it is a really heavy um acclimated ad uh platform for this game it was a free game and I liked sorting these cute little animals and the cute little uh, things too and it times your score and everything and I like to, to beat my scores and so it was okay it was a sorter game and I, I know I know dude you know, can I be any more obvious but I like you know doing that I have an organization problem and uh, uh and uh the Hmm. I it's, it's okay so it's not a problem it's it's more of I don't have to have everything in place it's just certain things have a place and other things don't so they float around the house and then um like my my forks my nice spoons those are always going to be in the same place I just kind of a set location my bowls have a set location, or my storage work has a set location. My cookies, they don't. And they will float around the room. I mean, the chips, they don't have a set location. And they will float around the room. I mean, I put them in the bar bags and everything. It's not gonna gather, you know, bugs or uh, critters of any sort. They are you know, kind of locked tight, airtight, and they're not spoiling anytime soon, and I always come back to these things, so sometimes I put them in the cupboard, and sometimes I just keep them next to the couch just in case I get a little munchie attack. You know, some corn chips, dude, some cookies, but whatever. Such a slob. I didn't put them back in the cabinet, but Anyways, the... Oh, God, it's almost nine. Sorry. Contrary to what you believe, I don't really like talking about myself. I'm just trying to fill in the gap while doing something. And I'm already recording, so... Eh. But anyways, uh, running spyware. Uh, running sp spyware uh, steals data and internet usage data so they'll know what sites you've been on where you've uh, spent most of your time you know looking at those um, those hubcaps that you want to get for your car or those um, really cool toys that you want I'm sorry action figures so and then they sell the information to the adware companies and they bombard you with this stuff. I guess I was looking at brushes. I haven't been looking at any brushes. <laughs> and then this keystroke data theft for password logins. Where that, that will pop up a... That will pop up a... Um like a site that okay say um someone with malicious intent wanted to go into your bank account or some account that you use to uh, get money from or if you have a credit card on they would set up a 
fake web page that looks exactly like the web page, but it will just be a little bit different in the um, what is that thing called? The, the web page, the W da 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 da. The flip. I can't remember what it's called. Anyways, it will be just a, a bit different in IP address. No, something like that. But each each website has an address. Website address, I think that's it. But anyways, it'll be just slightly a little different. Like it'll have like a period here, or have an extra letter or something like that, or have a zero in it, and whatnot. And you'll think that it's the the website and you'll go and type in your you know login and your password and then they have your stuff they can go into multiple websites and put that uh same information because a lot of people use the same password for a lot of different websites my advice is to uh get yourself a nice little uh a little small notebook or a little password book write all your little passwords in because people have long uh, like a, you know long memory have short-term memory and they won't remember every single password that they have for each account i myself have a nice little network of passwords that i've written down written down written down i wrote them down mm -hmm, i tell you anyways so i wrote, <laughs> i wrote down these passwords and it's just like little these little cue cards that I, I have in my wallet and they're also in like a little uh, sealed kind of package. It was, I think I'm reusing a card package that I folded over so that it's, um, it has my, uh, my passwords in it, my allergies in it, you know, because like if someone, if I go down for the count and someone has to call medical they're gonna see my what is that called um, my allergies right off the bat and they're gonna go oh okay and then they will adjust procedures appropriately for that i still don't know whether i am o negative or o positive i still have to get that test i know i'm o i'm pretty sure i'm o But, um, yeah, I think I've been talking enough. I'll just back on that. Oh, I could have done this the whole time. Oh. Anyways, we, we had a, a wonderful journey with um, my notes and me jabbering on about this and that and nothing at all. So, I hope you learned yourself something, or nothing at all. Hopefully this was entertaining enough. And, um, yeah. Have a good one.